Howdy. My name is Oatmeal Lint, and welcome back to EU4, to Let's Play EU4 Novgorod. <clears throat> Novgorod. Now, we just got out of a devastating war. Ryzen declared on us and was part of a coalition against us with Lithuania. Boy, that was brutal. We lost our vassals, Tavir and Kazan. And we were forced to release Yaroslav. Now this wasn't so bad because none of these were needed for creating the Russian nation. However, we can sort of just declare back on Yaroslav right now. We have a core here. <coughs> I don't see any reason why we can't just declare back on them. Their independence is, declare is um, guaranteed by Ryzen, but no one is allied with Ryzen. So it really seems like we should just declare on Yaroslav and then build up our forces after that point. We are at war right now. But it's just war with these guys and they, they've been suffering pretty substantially. Oh wow, somehow we've managed to get vision of the map all the way over to a uh, Wow, a Korea that's doing pretty darn good. Manchu is an accepted culture in Korea. That is... I, I, I'm interested to see uh, what's happening over there. What this does let us see is our colonial path. We choose to accept it. Yeah, it's nice. I mean, th there's profitable provinces out here. They typically make good stuff, like fur or metals. But, we have a truce with Perm for quite a while. Probably not going to do that anytime soon. So let's see, we could go ahead and pick up some mercenaries, definitely want to do that. Gonna have to take out a few loans, it's fine, we'll repay them later. Probably can get away with no knights for this war. I'm just pure mercenaries that will eventually disband. Um, eventually. I'm gonna go ahead and declare war on them before they can join any coalition. How can I not have a CB against them? And how do I have a truce with them? Well, I guess I have a truce with them. It expires along with most of the other truces. Now, Perm did something silly <coughs> and pieced out with me early, which is going to let me declare on Perm while none of the other people, none of their allies, nothing, can come in because their truce expires before other people's truces. Well, I guess the, <laughs> I guess the way they keep you from just declaring on something that you, that you just released is by giving you a truce with them. Okay, that's fine. I'll use, let's see, I really, uh, I really need a strong ally. Will you ally with me? They, they, they might ally with me if I liked them, but. Will you ally with me yet? Nope, still no. France. France could be a good ally. They have. Uh, I like the Ottomans a little bit more. Hungary? They're allied with Lithuania. Lithuania is my big enemy right now. Who can I ally with to, like, take out Lithuania? Gee. France might be my best bet. Well, wow. I have that extra diplomat from that idea group that I'm specking into. <coughs> Let's just try to take out. Hmm. 
Yeah, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait to pick up a military attack. I, I might actually be able to westernize sooner rather than later, so. I'll be picking up administrative tech. I, I'll probably have to buy one more military tech, so I might as well do it now while I have the advisor. But, I could get another neighborhood bonus by someone going up another military. Hmm. I guess I... Yeah, I guess I'll go ahead and get this. But definitely not gonna get another one. Not until I westernize. We've gained the CB against Yaris, but we have a truce. So if I were to declare on them, we'd get minus five stability. Not something that I want. Now this is a reconquest CB for right here. Wow, a lot of people have a claim on this province. Gee. All right. Now, do Kazan have any gold? I somehow seriously doubt it. Just gonna do a quick little check. Seventy gold only. Pretty nice income, though. So Ryzen left that military. Yaroslav entered the coalition. Yeah, I don't really know. I, Lithuania is my now my new my serious enemy. Do I just want to white peace out with these guys? It's not like I can gain anything from a war with them. I'm not going to take their provinces and their piddly 70 gold is... Well... Not, not that important to me. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and wait. Um, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. I'm just gonna peace out. Reason being, I have quite a bit of war exhaustion saved up, like seven or eight, nine now. And that's not gonna go down until I'm in peace. So now, just be in peace. I'll keep these mercenaries around. Um, Interesting. I say interesting because I can declare on these guys. I don't think I have a CB. I can declare on these guys, and the other and Lithuania can't come in because they have a truce with me. So I'm gonna do that. It broke their alliance with us. Why did they do that? I guess because we got to zero relation with them. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop improving relations here and go back to improving relations over there. They'll probably offer me, oh no, and now they're not even friendly with me. Okay. This is uh, a hard difficulty. The hard difficulty and the <coughs> AI bonuses is really making this tough. Ryzen has like no shot. I don't know exactly what piece they're gonna go to. I can only hope that they'll go to a piece that doesn't involve them losing all their provinces. Swahili, they're at a war with the Swahili? In my Japan Let's Play, the Swahili are insanely rich. <laughs> wonder if that's the case here. Hmm. Didn't realize I had revolt risk. I do. Why do I have so much revolt risk? 
War exhaustion. Negative stability. Okay. Oh, I don't really want to westernize until I am Russia. So. Because once you're Russia, you get that event that gives you back your stability. They're attritioning, so I'm gonna go ahead and just wait a little bit. So, remember that I have absolutely no qualms with doing gamey things. What I'm gonna do here that's kind of gamey is these guys are in a coalition against me. The other members of the coalition all have true, true um, this, this treaty with me. A truce. So, what I'm gonna do is I want to take both of these provinces. They didn't really work out super well as vassals, so... Now they're enemies. I have to go ahead and take the provinces. I want to take both of them. I only have one war that's a window in which I can take them. What I'm going to do is declare on them in the same day. If possible. So that I can be at war with both of them instead of one of them being part of the coalition that's at war with me. If, if one of them were part of the coalition, I couldn't make a separate piece. So, I'm going to be at war with both of them. Yeah, I'm going to be at war with both of them. Now, Ryzen might be guaranteeing their independence, but no, not. It's only guaranteeing the independence of this place. Feels kind of like they pulled out all their troops. Well, just gotta make sure I can stay out of war with Lithuania. They would smush me. I'll go ahead and pick up this. Like I said, I'm gonna have relations, so this number here, well, it's currently nothing, will go up. I hope to get the core creation cost mi uh, minimizer too. That'd be nice. I'm going to be creating some cores over here. I already have one here. So in the meantime, I think I'm going to be building knights. Or maybe not, because apparently I'm running negative budget. Well, these mercenaries are quite a bit of expense, so I'm going to go ahead and build some knights and delete the mercenaries. One, two, three, and then I'll delete probably three mercenaries. I'll actually do that now. The reason that I'm running a deficit, whereas previously I wasn't, is I've, I've hired this guy. He's giving me an extra um, diplomatic monarch point per month, but he also costs quite a bit. So these sieges are taking them forever. <coughs> what was the CB that they used? I, I guess I don't really get to know. Hmm. Awesome. For the next five years? Land maintenance is down. Okay, so Hungary was allied with Lithuania. Did Lithuania get called into this war? Hmm. I guess they didn't call. See, they're still allies, but they're not in the war, so that means that Hungary must have been the aggressor in this war and didn't call Lithuania. Oh, never mind. Yeah, they did. Okay, as long as Lithuania is busy, I'll be more safe, because they are strong allied with Hungary and Poland. They could just take all my provinces. They could take back all these provinces. They have Corza. So that would that would easily happen for them. An army for our nation. 
Remove to veer from the map. Only prestige. Pass the uniformity act. Well, this has no cost, so I'm definitely gonna go ahead and do it while I can. But I'll always be able to do it. Mm, I'm not gonna get rid of tax for stability quite at this point. I might get that at some point, but I'll always be able to do this. But might as well just do this while I'm thinking about it. <clears throat> Eventually, I should be able to start converting some of these Sunni provinces, but... Yeah, the Sunni rebels. Sunni rebels have been pretty, uh... Rough. On perm. Now I need to keep an eye on the clock, be um, because in 2000, I mean in 1504, I want to declare on perm. So I got this, I got the CB against here, and only 32% done here. Hmm. Well, I want to, I want to declare at the same time, so. So they've improved relations with me quite a bit. They're trying to be my ally. They just uh, dishonored Alliance a lot. And when they get to 100, uh, they're stopped. See how it's minus three? They've stopped improving relations. I'm gonna go ahead and... Who are they allied with? Livonian Order. Gee. Lots of people allying against me. That kind of seems like the... Uh, theme of this. I'm gonna need two diplomats simultaneously. So when this is nearing completion, this progress, I'm gonna go ahead and pull back the guy from France. Like I said, I'm gonna be giving as much patriarchal authority as possible. As you can see, I'm constantly at war. This wars, these wars are never gonna end. I have no reason to believe that these wars are ever going to end. George has been relegated to just there. Interesting. Genoa has been chased back to the Orthodox province. That's fine, I guess. And they don't like me because we're both Burton Republics, so we have that causes Bella um, embargo. So rise and enter that military coalition. Okay. Let's see, I can definitely afford some more knights. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick them up. Like you saw in the last battle against Lithuania, if I had had just knights, I probably would have done a lot better. <laughs> And that's gotta be my, that's like my only way of beating Lithuania. They're so much stronger than me with Poland and Hungary and just so much stronger, so. Yeah, I hope I can get this timing right. This is taking a lot longer than I thought to fabricate a claim on this one, on Tavir. Because in 2004, or in 1504, I want to be at war with Perm. And I want to declare this war before 1504. I'm not going to make it, so... We're going to stop improving relations with France. I don't want Perm to get pulled in. See, I don't want Perm to get pulled into this war that I declare with the with these guys. So I have to... And they're in a coalition against me. These guys are probably... Oh, they're not actually in the coalition against me. That gives me a little bit more time. But not enough. Not enough more time. Let's check to make sure that everyone in the coalition against me has... So Lithuania, Ryzen, Tavir, Yaroslav, Smolnik. Yep, they all, they all have a truce with me. That means that in my previous experience, they're not going to get pulled into this war. And this fabrication is going to take a while. I'm, it's, he's only halfway done and he's taken like 500 days, so... The Livonian Order also has a choice with me. Okay. 
are the way I want this to go. Declare war here. Win war here. Go declare war on perm. Either vassal perm, even though that didn't work out super well, or take the orthodox provinces of perm, which would allow me to start colonizing if I ever decided to get into that idea group. Probably won't, but... Clare War... I have a truce with them? I guess I have a truce with them. Hmm. Okay. Well, that means I should forget about that war. Military level 7 against my military level 6. I guess I should forget about that war and instead focus on the Perm War. How come I didn't see that I had a truce with them? Because I don't have it. Because they don't have a truce with me. I see. I was looking at... They don't have a truce with me. I have a truce. It's a one-way truce. Okay. I hadn't seen those yet. Well, I need to build some more forces. Um, this will not be enough. Oh, I have three queued up here. I guess I'll get a fourth. And then I need... Now, I don't think I'm going to play chicken with Perm, I don't think. And by that, I mean I'm not just going to run around doing nothing. I'm going to try to take them head on with these 11 troops. Maybe more. Yeah, definitely more. After rebuild up my army after Lithuania just completely annihilated it. I mean, they have a Casas Vela against me, so they could realistically declare war on me every truce, every five years or so. They're not five years. However long these traces have been lasting. I would prefer that not happen, but I, I can't stop it from happening. I can't make alliances that are strong enough to keep that from happening. I mean, even an alliance with England... England stopped liking me. Even an alliance with England isn't going to do anything. So... Fabricate... Improve relations. Do you ally with me now? No. Yeah, no one seems to like me. Not that I blame them. I, would, I wouldn't want to go to wars for me. I'm not going to be able to go to wars for anyone except for the people who border me. I have no fleet. So unless Lithuania decides to declare on England, I, I can't. Or, I guess, Sweden or Norway. I can't really go to war for them. Okay, this truce is about to be up with Perm. It expires September of this year. Okay, so now we now have claims against both of these guys. Let's give this little look here. So once again, I have no reason to keep him. I would like eventually to start curing a better ruler, but... I am going to make this one into a military leader though. Oh, he's got a little bit of fight. But the siege guy is pretty good.
I'm gonna go ahead and improve relations with them. Not that I think that I'll ever get them enough that they'll like me, or enough to ally with me, but... <clears throat> Dream. They're still in this war with... <laughs> uh, Perm entered into that military coalition now. That's fine. Like I said, I, I honestly do believe that the way this works is if I declare on them the members... How big is this? Yeah, yeah all these members have truces with me. Except for small like This guy's down. And these guys down. Hmm. I guess that'll mean that these guys will join in against me. But unfortunately you can't settle. Can't make peace with them. What I want to do is stagger the alliance system. So like half of the people who hate me have an alliance, have a truce with me at any given time. <clears throat> At least that's the plan. Mm hmm. Okay. Let's go ahead and check through these guys. We have revolt risk, not that big of a deal. Diplo cost, nope. Okay. What I'm looking for is a master of mint. I have quite a bit of inflation and no way to reduce it. So if you go and see, I probably have like 50 now. 40. Just give me more manpower. Less revolt risk. <coughs> Why do you have so much revolt risk? Still with the war exhaustion. Some sort of nationalism. I guess Tavir is a nation. So. Now, I was asked in a video from my. from this Let's Play, all the reasons I'm not using harsh treatment. Well, if I'm at war, I actually want rebels. Because your enemies go and attack your rebels. <laughs> your enemies go and attack your rebels, it kills your rebels and your enemies. So from that war, I want rebels. Uh, to some extent. Concentrated rebels, like like in one province. If I'm not at war, then I have troops that aren't doing anything, so I, I probably can go and attack the rebels. So that's my logic. Um, harsh treatment's not cheap. It's expensive. You have to... Oh, crap. Okay. They are allied with... Now, they're allied with all those people, it says. But... That's not an alliance. That's a coalition, so... We see only people who come in... Were Smolznik and Tavir. Because they didn't have a truce with me. That was like a one-way truce that they had. <coughs> now, unfortunately... I can't make tre treaties with them. But yeah, so see that that this is this is a way of getting a treaty with Perm and I guess these two dorks. Like so that there are different timers in the Lithuania one. So if Lithuania declares on me, then I'm, I'm gonna have a a, a, truce, a truce with these guys. They won't they won't come in. Now with 14 of my guys at level. Only six. Hmm. Actually, I don't know if 14 of my guys can beat nine of their guys. I'm probably gonna find out. Maybe not. So, see if I go over here and I'm like, oh, I wanna make a peace with you. A member of a coalition can never sign a separate peace. So, even if I completely occupy them, I'm not gonna be able to take their provinces, which. Whatever. They're gonna suffer attrition. That's fine. They can go and siege my province, suffering massive attrition. I won't.
Drats, <laughs> if only you had had that. If only you'd had that alliance before I declared this war. Probably wouldn't have done it before I declared this war. Yeah, these guys have both joined an alliance with Perm. Okay. Yeah, see, I'm, I'm not so worried about the sieging on my provinces. I have a general with four siege power. So, I'm just going to take their provinces. This is the war goal. I'll get war score. Go ahead and repay that one. Ingen's still not liking me. Still not liking me. Luckily, still at multiple wars. Unlikely to declare on me. <coughs> I can only hope that whatever wars they are at, go for a long time. Poland's not in any of the wars. Poland would make an alliance with me. Nope. How can I be allied? Oh, they're allowed to, they're allowed to arrival. They would make an alliance with me, see they're cordial, but that would be great. Poland would be a great ally. The issue is, I'd have to like them. In order for me to like them, they'd have to improve relations with me. I don't really know. Okay, that's good. So all I'm trying to do is take these two provinces from them. Salt and fur. I might actually need more troops if I'm going to beat them, so... Problem is, if I make any new troops, how would I get them over here? not going to do that. That all being said, I learned a lesson from the last video. I'm not sure if I'll be able to upload it or not because I, I went too long and my recording software got all angry at me. So I'm going to make a little cut right here. I'll be right back. and you.